What is happening, y'all? Cowboy here, and welcome to the next game we're going to be jumping into. This is Dragon Quest Monsters The Dark Prince. So, big thanks to the folks at Square Enix for a copy of the game. Super excited to get into this one. Uh, when I was growing up, I played DQM 1 and 2 back on, I believe it was Game Boy Advance. One of my favorite monster type games out there. Just being able to fuse monsters to make bigger monsters and just, just a ton of fun. So this is probably going to be one of the biggest nostalgia type games that I've played on the channel. Uh, I've already clocked 20 hours into the demo just getting monsters ready to go for the series. And I'm super pumped to finally be able to jump in. So went ahead, transferred my demo data already, got everything ready to go. Uh, volume levels look good. I'm going to listen after the fact just to make sure things aren't too loud. But otherwise, let's get into this. Oh, hang on. That doesn't look right. Let's do this again. Play in English. We are going to put audio in Japanese. I tried the demo with the English audio to see... How it was and I wasn't a giant fan of it it's like um very posh British I guess which doesn't it just doesn't fit for you know a demon lord going on an adventure uh, so definitely gonna be dropping that but that looks good firm we'll do Japanese autoplay fast there we go now we are ready for the journey to commence I hope it actually like, takes me to the start of the game, otherwise I'm going to feel really, really goofy having 20 plus hours in the demo. Of course, this is exclusively on the Nintendo Switch. Very surprised they didn't do a PC release, I would have loved to do this on PC, but... We play the games on the platforms they're on. の息子。魔族の王子だ。この顔は間違いねえ。王子様。どうみたって人間なのになのよ。大抵には人間の女との間に一人の子供がいた。長らく消息不明だったが。じゃ、じゃあ。どうしてその子が迎えにいるなのよ
よお,お前森の小屋に住み着いたのはお前だろあそこは俺たちのアジトだぞおいやめろはっ何だお前弱いやつをかばって英雄気取りかよこんな硬い中にまでお出ましとはお前魔族の王子って<笑> you know, saved his life and he ran away on him. Rejected by humans. She said he'd never pay child support. Don't give him no time of day. Promise gameplay is coming soon. It's, you know, there's a lot of story front loaded here. Mega Sameta Yodana. Show any idea to Yodaga. So it's a murder.
たった一人でここまで来るとはさすがは大抵の大名寺見上げたものですね我が息子よこの魔界から打ち捨てられたお前がわざわざ何をしに来たほう確かによならばお前の母親を助けられようだがそれをするかは世の決めることだ。<笑>よと戦うつもりかよかろう己の無力さを思い知らせてやる二度とここへ来られぬよう魔物を攻撃できなくなる呪いをかけた時空の果てへと飛ばしてやろう封印球ジャコクロウ私は全てを見通す者人間と魔族の雇用お前の母親は戦国生き絶えたこれからは亡き母の願い通り人間として生きるのだ私がその身に流れる魔族の血を消してやろうなぜ拒むのだ、うん、なるほど自らの手で父を倒し魔族の王に君臨するそのためにはその血が必要かよかろうならば好きにするがいい There we go. I was <laughs> like, why is this not advancing? ロメオだよなされていたようだが大丈夫かところでモンジーがお前を呼んでいたぞ行ってやるたい Fifteen minutes of intro. We're finally ready to go.
Uh, bread is the mini map. Press Y to open the main map. Know all of this. I think he just tells us to go right over here. Hey, get over here. Hey, 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 gotta talk to you. This first episode, I'm just going to make an hour. Let us kind of get into the meat and potatoes of the game. Since we had a front-loaded story. Sword too. I don't know what that's supposed to do. ないかな。よしよし。間に合ってよかったわい。お前を探して、また魔物たちが来ると思っておったが、意外と早かったな。うん。この魔物たちは何なのかじゃと。ま、そのことは後で詳しく話そう。まずは怪我の手当てをせねばならんの。回復が得意な魔物を連れてくるぞい。さっきの話の続きをしよう。
来るたび強くなっておるこのままではお前を守りきれん生き残るためには自ら戦う手段が必要じゃお前はモンスターマスターになれモンスターマスターのことを知っておるかうんモンスターマスターとはモンスターと共に戦うスペシャリストじゃ魔族の血が半分流れるお前にはモンスターマスターの素質があるはずじゃまずはわしのモンスターを一匹譲ろう今からする質問の答えによってお前にぴったりなモンスターを選んでやろうかっこいいモンスターよりかわいいモンスターが好きかのうん。Hmm. I mean, get, anyway. 小さいモンスターが好き不思議なモンスター I want to get. I think the cactus dude is useful. I think that's who I get with this. No, him. Mud mannequin is alright, but. Pretty easy to get. Make it the cactus thing. I remember that being a tricky one to fuse. I think it's. Let me get rugged. Sleek skin. Let's go furry. No, no, gets me the duck. I don't need a platypunk. I don't know what the, the cactus one is. Maybe it's no, then yes? Let's try double yes and see what we got. I think that one's like a starter slime. Fright bulb. God, how do I get the the the, the, the freaking thing? Nope. Ah, going too fast. I gotta slow down. No, no, no. Skip. I might just take it. Doesn't matter. This is gonna just be fusion fodder anyway. Here, one more time. If I get the cactus, we're set. I think it's yes. No, yes. Yes, lovable. No compact. Is it yes, no, no? Or did I take that when I got the... There we go. Cruel cumber. Too goofy as like a monster. <laughs> But it'll be good fusion fodder. It's like four starting choices you can get. First hour is basically going to be with with all the intro stuff. First hour will get us through the tutorial. では、モンスターマスターの修行を始めよう。はじめに、モンスターマスターの務めとは自分のモンスターを強く育てることじゃ。ピピピピピピピ。お前、今何か言ったかならばこの声どこからピピピピピ
カリスマオーラ受信しましたちょうぜでやばめの才能宇宙の彼方まで響いてきちった私と一緒にトレーニングしてその才能をピカピカ磨こうやれやれアゲピピお前はちっとも変わらんのモンジーおひさんまた一段とおじじになったねまあよいアゲピピはこう見えてすご腕のモンスターマスタートレーナーじゃお前のトレーニングはこやつに任せることにしようではわしは店に戻るでなトレーニングが終わったら寄ってくれピピピピーンってなわけで始めよっかその1魔物と戦って倒してみよう見えるあれが野生の魔物ぶつかった途端にバトル開始だよ。そんじゃ、早速バトルしてきて君の Four percent. I'm gonna get the slime on turn one. A s i a n Yes, yeah. So, scouting in this game, as opposed to like wearing them down like Pokemon and then capturing them, it's just a scout option. And the chance of scouting is largely based on how strong your party is at the time. Each monster in your party will do a percentage of damage if that monster is already in your possession. It's like roughly cut by half,、uh, but you can give them like meat and stuff to increase the chance of them joining you. And then sometimes, like he's saying right now, you might just beat them down, and then afterwards they'll be like, hey, I want to join. And the seasonal change. So, yeah, I'm at the head of the sea. Oh, I'm not a little bit of a little bit of a So the world changes.、Uh, we have you know, four main seasons spring, summer, fall, and winter. I believe it's 20 minutes、uh, real time per season to change. But what's interesting is there's certain areas of the world that'll be locked off until the seasonal change happens. Travel yet. Let me. I want to go get my actual party. I'm going to see if I can. It might not let me. It might just be like, no, you're, you're doing this tutorial. You're not going to go get your party. That'll trounce everything. I mean, to be fair, they're, they're under leveled. They don't.、Uh, you don't get to start with, with the, your, the levels and skills your party had. Do not transfer strictly the monsters themselves.
Oh man. It's not letting me interact with him. I might not be able to. Fucking horse. Shuffle over here. Let's go. He's training, yeah. Ah, oh, yeah, it's not gonna let me. Damn. Rip. Yeah, well, we'll punch through the training real fast, and then we'll get our party. Got my hunter mech. As soon as I unlock fusion, I'm making a uh, sword dragon. I think it's gonna be sweet. We have a pretty, pretty solid party. Lots of stuff that'll be uh, good for fusion. I brought along uh, basically one that's like just gonna chill in the party for a bit. Well, two, two that'll chill in the party for a good while, and then the rest are mostly fusion fodder. But a couple of them make decent standalones on their own. No slime. I do not need you. I can also get the big boys. So in the uh, in the demo, you couldn't recruit the. There's like basically elites in each zone. So the first starter zone that we're in right now, there's a. Uh, I believe it's is it an ogre or a cyclops? Cyclops. Uh, but considered like a large monster tier, it takes up two slots in your party instead of four. It's one of the cool mechanics about this game. Monsters can have sizes. And there's monsters that are considered like large, and so you typically have a four monster party. If you have a large monster in the party, it'll take up uh, two of those slots. So you'll have like, you know, one big guy and then two small ones. Huh. Ugly dragon, get one of those. No, don't beat up my party. All right, we're going to hit him with the smoke sirloin and try and scout again. If they get enraged, you can't scout. So the the hope is that he we pick him up here with the sirloin. I'm also going to increase combat speed in a second. There we go. Got an early party of four. Yes. Basic fusion fodder. Oh, what's cool about fusion in this game is so there's there's basic fusions like you know use a, a dragon and a slime type and you'll get a drake slime but there's also uh hang on let me, let's do, 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 do other battle speed i guess it's not gonna let me yeah until we're out of the tutorial it won't let me do that so you have basics like that, and then you have more unique fusions where it's like, you know, two specific monsters will create the outcome. And so there's, uh, there is a lot of in-depth monsters that you can, you can find. Which actually, let me get the, I had a, uh, a thing up. Let me find it, because I played a lot on, uh, laying in bed, we'll just fight for now. Find this bookmark. I'm gonna add it to PC. It's a mobile bookmark. The whole website's in Japanese, as you'd expect. Oh. 
It's gonna bully some of these guys. Actually, you know, it's like that wiki thing, the, the game with, but for uh, whatever reason, the uh, Japanese game with site has all the information. I don't think the English one's even been populated yet. I should have checked, let's see. points right now. I'll get to that in a little bit. I'm just going to punch through the tutorial. on my tree. That's less than ideal. I'll be messing like crazy now. Let's just burn through this. I keep seeing monsters and I'm like, oh, I should get them, but I mean, it, it's, it makes more sense to just punch through the seasons so that I can have my real party and then we'll start doing stuff. Because we're going to be exploring these zones anyway to, to get monsters to level up. So combat in the game is actually pretty in-depth. It looks simple so far because, you know, the tutorial doesn't want to front-load you too much. Uh, but we can just fight, like what we've been doing. We just hit fight. Stuff will, will go to town on each other. Besides that, we have the tactics system. So not that unlike Final Fantasy XII. The idea is we can give monsters priorities. So whether we want them to attack, defend... Uh, support or focus on healing we can also with that system go even deeper and turn on or off individual moves that the monsters have so if we wanted to to have a focus on auto battling you know i could go well first i'd have to uh let me, let me grab grab the the talents real fast so talent six points available they have some stuff. It's gonna let me remember where the hell I do my, my talents from. 
Yeah, so right now we can set show no mercy, weaken the enemy, support your allies, focus on healing, or don't use magic. And then we can go more in depth and have them focus on individual things like this. And, you know, turn off certain abilities and just set instructions. Like right now they don't have any of their skills, so we can't do it. So there we go, talent points. That's what I was looking for. Uh, blowy slasher. We will focus Agi for you. These early skills aren't all that good, though. You get a mid heal. I keep you around. Getting access to mid heal could be useful. We'll focus that. Cadaver dazzle. You get snooze, drain magic, some good support stuff. Uh, auto restore. I'll do that. Now, if I went to like set instructions and slime, I can go here and I can prioritize whether I want uh, Frizz to be high usage, no usage, or lower usage over all the other abilities that that monster would have. And then in auto combat, they're gonna just, you know, basically follow this gambit that I've set up, very similar to uh, how Final Fantasy XII works, where you're like setting up order priorities. Not quite as in depth because you're not, you know, getting down to that level of granularity. But you are, you know, giving them, hey, you can, I want you, like, for example, in the demo, I had a character that its focal point would be uh, buffing defense of the entire party, decreasing accuracy of whatever I'm fighting, and then healing the party. And then if all of those things were already accomplished, then it would go into doing damage. But first it was going to buff, debuff, heal. And then on top of that, of course, you can actually... Uh, just go down to that level of granularity if you want. Select exactly what actions you want your monsters to take in combat. Fast travel in this game is actually dope. There's a lot of like little things this game does that I think made it appeal to me more than, than say Pokemon. So at any time, just hit the button, fast travel. And then anytime you travel back to Rose Hill, uh, well, not this part of Rose Hill, but once we once we unlock the main Rose Hill, anytime you travel there. By default, everything gets healed. There's no like going to a poke center. In fact, you mostly uh, you'll get health back in between battles, so you're going into battles full. Uh, when you go to like the the hub location, you're gonna find like fusion, buying items, and the bank all in one spot, so it keeps things simple. It's just a lot of stuff that they've used to really streamline the experience of the game. There we go. Monster Depot is up, which means it's time to go get the gang. Which we'll be able to just teleport here directly from now on. See some of the gang out there already. There's my knight. There's my little sword dragon dude. There's my dessert demon. He's a fun little guy.
All right, we want Garuda in the party. Oh, yeah, let's take you as our frontliner for now. And then Desert Demon, heal debuff guy. And the rest of y'all are some fusion fodder for later. So to fuse monsters, they need to be uh, at least level 10. But your main party, as well as anything that's in your reserves, will level up. So the four I'm fighting with get experience, and then the four that are in reserve will also get experience. Pick the paddock. Uh, the four that are in reserve will get experienced, although it is at a lesser rate. But it's still nice, you know, because you could just have your four main guys, and then your, uh, your four backups just kind of sitting in the party or stuff that you're trying to level, whatever the case is, and they'll gain levels. Stuff that's all the way back in the paddock doesn't level up, but, you know, that's that's to be expected. Can't just keep catching them and have them power level while, while basically sitting at the bank of monsters. モンスターバトル大会に出てみるといい。ここよりはるか西にエンドールという大きな町がある。そこではモンスターマスターたちの戦い、モンスターバトル大会が開かれておる。そこで勝ち上がり名を上げれば名声は必ずや父の耳にも
just auto-battling my way through monsters. Because, you know, obviously endless grinding isn't going to be the most entertaining. Uh, so the main thing is going to be a focus on uh, knocking out the Colosseum battles, progressing the story, and then aiming to get the the big monsters, the, the unique monsters that are throughout the map. That's going to be what we're going to be focusing episodic content on. So a lot of the like mindless grinding and whatnot, that'll be stuff that I'll be either doing on my own time or potentially do like a stream where we're just going around and, and grinding out to gather certain monsters. But I think that'll be a, a good split of how we, we do the content. And they're messing the gang up. I scout a Drachy real fast. It's a good chance, 48. Nope. Scouting failed. Kill them. I gotta pump some levels into this game. So I'll get a couple levels real fast and then we'll go, uh... We'll tackle the first tier of the arena so y'all can see how that works. Oh my god, he hit me with an instant kill. That's whack. Whack, Drachy. Poor dessert demon. Yeah, so since they died, I'm just gonna rope to Rose Hill real fast. They won't res if they die on the party until we, we go back to a hub. Uh, but normal healing will be will be fine. So I'm not sure what happens if they die during tutorial stuff. Probably gotta go to the bed and rest to get them up for now. It'll become an automatic feature later. No stealing my 10 gold or anything. Just fully healing the gang. Dude. Yeah, it's gonna be one of the weaknesses of Desert Demon, but he's basically just fodder. It used to be a, uh, a good, good fusion choice. I just mean it's a big cherry blossom. Let's get revenge on these trackies. mech I already have. I can combine that with uh, the Armored Knight and then that will give me Killer Machine and then Killer Machine 2 with Killer Jack. For Killer Machine and Killer Jack will give me Killer Machine 2. Killer Machine 2 and Durandal will get me S Killer Machine. Which is just like super high tier. And then combine that with land armor to get like super mega killing machine. So the killing machine, that's gonna be coming along with us for a while. That dude is gonna rank up and become a god. 
the, the hunter mech. I keep using the Japanese names because that's what the, the, the wiki site I have. But yeah, this is a game. You don't have to play this game with a wiki. You can certainly just like figure out various combinations yourself. Uh, but it, you know, knowing unique fusions and whatnot, definitely the kind of game where it benefits to like talk to other people playing, look up stuff online, figure out some stuff. Uh, but it does show you certain unique combinations when you have the monsters, but it'll be a while before we go fusion. Fusion is uh, the third zone we reach, which that sounds far. Realistically, we'll hit the third zone in... Oh god, I don't know. Four or five episodes? It won't take long to get there. So, let's spend some talent points. Um, do, 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 do. Well, looks like that's right. You all know, fuse, so we only have your... Your base tiers. Like these two are going to fuse into a dragon for me. Might be strong enough with the whole party at four. Let's try it, shall we? Let me check what skills they have. I'll preset them before we jump into the first Colosseum battle. Alright, let's see. Buff. Don't really want you doing too much focus on buff. Flame Slash is good. Sizz is good. Get all enemies. Yeah, they should be good. Let's try it. Hi. Dude has the dragon. Those are actually really good. That's one of the early monsters that can uh, can chain into like super high breath attacks. Lancy. So here, the only thing you can do, you can't actually like do individual orders in the arena. So this is where like the auto battle stuff sets up because you need to, to figure out, you know, what what tactics does your party have? How are you going to have them uh, go out? How are they going to play the fight? But we're just going to auto battle for you since we don't have all that many. We have some good AOE, so we're probably going to sweep the arena pretty easily. ばばらばんばんばんばん。第一試合の勝者はこいつだ。ここにゴールデンルーキー来たる。会場も騒然としているぞ。二回戦の相手はジークラス界の重鎮。五回戦ポエムダンサー。トム・ジェイ。
Boom. Look at these weak little attacks. Bang! Fat damage coming out. Get him, Turtle Man. Turtle's more of a buffer defender. I might drop him for now. And I know it seems like I'm just trouncing stuff early on, but... You gotta understand, man, I spent some time to get my starter monsters. Which, that demo has been available since, like, September, so... Anyone that was interested in the game. That's really cool, too, the fact that they let you... Uh, you couldn't fuse up to E, but so you have... Uh, what are our total monster ranks? If I remember, I believe it's uh, G, F, E, D, C, B, A, S... And then there's an X rank above S, which is like basically end game bosses that you can fuse. Like I wouldn't be surprised if you confuse the the final per or final antagonist as one of your monsters at some point. Hit him with the scissors. Oh no! You reduce the defense of the super turtle that has a shit ton. Yeah, Hunter Max is really good. He gets to attack twice per turn, making him one of the, the stronger dudes in the game, for sure, early on. But his fusion chain is ridiculous. It takes a, a while to get up to him. Which is why I got him in the demo. I was like, I'm going to fuse all these little guys together. I'm going to make you now. And I'm going to keep fusing you all the way up until you're a god. To, like, briefly talk about his fusion, dude. So you need to, uh... Is, is, you gotta get, let me, let me look at the breakdown. So you gotta get a shield demon dude, fuse that with a straw bag. You also gotta get another shield demon, and uh, fuse that with a slime tower. The slime tower is just slime of material, the straw bag is a different slime of material of lower rank. Doing those two will give you the ropey bro and slime knight. Uh, you fuse ropey bro with the egg demon, which comes from another uh, fusion of stuff to get Bamboo again. You fuse the Slime Knight with Bamboo again to get the Wandering Armor. And then you fuse the Wandering Armor with a Material type to get Metal Hunter. So it's like a... Uh, uh, let's see one. Let's see one. Well, if we count ones, we can catch. Uh, one, two... Three, four, five, six. It's like a seven, seven tiers of fusion to get to Metal Hunter. さあ、well, I love how just over the top the bad guys are.
torturing the poor elf, making her cry for rubies. hoping to pause it because we're way over the hour mark for episode one but that's what happens when you uh skip cutscenes and don't realize how long they're gonna be but you know what i could just do that that makes sense all right anyway we are going to wrap things up here with our first hour we will catch up with our elf friend as well as continue the adventure in the next part stay tuned Plenty of Dragon Quest monsters is coming your way.